think the fact that we are women actually worked to our advantage. I think that the men really opened up to us and didn't feel threatened by us. They had come from a very male-dominated, rough, hostile world within the prison system. And so I think that in many ways we were sort of a breath of fresh air. This is a movie that on the surface is about men, mm -hmm. and in so many other ways it's not about yeah, men, right? No. Yeah. It's, um, you it's know, a human story. It's such a human story. What makes this so different is that it's not a story about people told by a film crew. It is their stories told by them. And I hope that we've just been a resource to amplify those stories. I have so much respect for the response and the commitment that these guys this have. This documentary would definitely uh, say, hey, these guys, look at these guys. These would be the example. If no one has seen anybody come out of their, their situation or their predicament, let these guys be that example. Our goal and the goal of the men whose lives we've been following is to take their stories to schools across the country. I think if I could say there was one reason we wanted to do this film, it was to demystify the stereotype of the drug dealer and what lies beneath. So I think what we're doing is challenging people for just a few minutes, you know, or I guess the, no, length, of, the length of the documentary <laughs> to to really step into their shoes and, and to imagine what it would be like 